Uh, I make my decisions on the basis of my moral commitment, and I take my ministry very seriously. I would not say that the civil rights movement is dead. It's simply that we are moving to a new phase of the movement. For uh, well now 12 years, we struggle to end legal segregation and all of the humiliation surrounding legal segregation. So it was a struggle for decency. It was a struggle to get rid of extremist behavior toward Negroes. Now we are in a new phase, and that is a phase where we are seeking genuine equality, where we are dealing with hard economic and social issues. And it means that the job is much more difficult. It's much easier to integrate a lunch counter than it is to guarantee an annual income. It's much easier to integrate a bus than it is to get a program that will force the government to put billions of dollars into ending slums. That it's a wonderful thing to work and be concerned about integrating public accommodations or integrating the public school, which are schools, which I will continue to work for with uh, vigor and with zeal. But I've also got to be concerned about the survival of a world in which to be integrated. And these issues to me are tied together in that sense. I thought about it for several months and finally I went away to write a book in Jamaica where I had a chance to reflect and meditate and uh, do a great deal of thinking about the war in Vietnam. I came to the conclusion then that I had no alternative uh, but to take a vigorous stand against the war. I weighed the criticisms that I would get. Yes, sir. I thought about even the fact that some Negroes wouldn't understand and some respectable Negro leaders who are more concerned about being invited to the White House than invited to the cause of justice would be against me. I weighed all of this, and as I weighed in it, as I prayed over it, something said to me that you've got to speak on this issue. All right. If you don't speak on it and others don't speak, I'm not going to give up. I'll have even the rocks to cry out against this war. It's an evil war. And no matter where. It leads, no matter what abuses it may bring, I'm going to tell the truth.